Hey, it's me, Zing and G. Welcome back to my channel this week. I'm doing pet peeves. This is this is gonna be great because I love complaining. <laughs> the first one, and it is my biggest pet peeve, is the cold. I hate the cold so much you don't even understand. I hate being cold. Living in Canada is not fun for me because I, I just hate the cold so much. I mean, why do teachers bother keeping the heat up or the cold up? It's like we're not gonna work. I get that they want us to stay awake, but come on really be icicles we can't really do work over icicles they just don't understand i can i can't even hold a pencil because my hands shaking so much because of how cold i am it's just like they keep the heat up for kids in elementary school so why can't we you don't see them falling asleep because of the heat what you know when you have to write in Microsoft Word and you're writing a paragraph and you have to have it double spaced and then like you have to skip lines? They always put a blue line under the first word of every like every sentence or whatever line that you're starting with. So like there'll be a huge line with with like blue with underlined words with blue underlined words. I don't know how to explain this. Like to show that you need to put a capital at the beginning of the sentence, even though it's not the beginning of a sentence. And I hate that; it's so annoying. And I, like I can't work before, like with that, with the blue lines there. I have to fix them before I can continue on working. And it's just, it's just a struggle. Microsoft, you need to, you need to fix that, please. Still love you, but you need to fix that. Okay, this one I know a lot of people say it like all the time constantly, but this one really hits me hard because it's when you don't respond fast enough. I. I'm a fast responder. If I don't answer, it's probably because I don't have Wi-Fi. I'm ignoring you, which doesn't happen often. Or I'm dying. I'm legit not kidding. I will answer right then and there. I'm always on my phone. Even if I'm not on my phone, I will still answer right then and there. Because I know how long, how, how bad it is or how horrible it is to wait for someone to respond to text. You could, it could be a life or death situation. And they wouldn't be able to help you because they haven't answered for five hours. This is also one that people say a lot, is when you chew with your mouth open. I know that, that everyone says that, but it's true, it's annoying. People still do it, no matter how many times you have to tell them not to do it, they still do it, and it's just... <sighs> this is probably my second biggest pet peeve, is when you spell my name wrong, or say it wrong, because that happens a lot. So You don't even understand. Like, they spell it wrong because they always put a capital Z because of the apostrophe. I can understand that, but if I'm writing my name down and you don't see a capital Z there, that does not mean that you can put a capital Z there because it's not, it's not how it was born. Okay, that's not what it says on my birth certificate. It's a lowercase Z, not a capital Z. Thank you very much. Get that right. And it's the Zynga, not the Zynga. So I don't know if this counts as a pet peeve. It just, it's just something that I've noticed and like I don't see anyone else saying it back. It's whenever YouTubers do Q and A's and then someone always like says their question and then like, oh, and I love you and then the YouTuber reads the question and the I love you and they never respond. They never say I love you back. That hits me hard. Why would you read it and never say I love you back? What? Why would you do that? That just, that hurts the person's feeling. Like they know you read it because they heard you read it and yet you didn't say I love you back. That's, that hits me in the heartstrings. Those poor people have to witness seeing that and they can't even hear it back from the people that they love. <sighs> I hate this one. I always ask a lot of questions for a lot of people, and you know how the comma is right beside the question mark? I always press the comma instead of the question mark, and it is so annoying because then I always have to fix it, and it's just, I constantly am pressing it, because I guess because I'm typing too fast or something and I'm not like slowing down to press the question mark, I always press the comma and they're right beside each other, and that's just frustrating because I don't have anything else to say after that question. I need to end it with the correct punctuation. Oh my gosh, when you have really good Wi-Fi and then it goes off and you haven't even moved your device of some sort. That happens to me all the time. In my room, I have the worst Wi-Fi in the whole house, which really sucks for me because I love Wi-Fi and it is, it just, just when it goes off, it just makes me really sad because it, it doesn't, it does, that doesn't make sense. I will get Wi-Fi and I will leave whatever, my computer in the exact same spot while I'm getting Wi-Fi and I will like do something for a split second and the Wi-Fi will be gone? That doesn't make any sense. Is the Wi-Fi thing moving around or something? Can someone explain to me why the Wi-Fi goes off 
without any warning. I'm not even moving it to a different spot. It's in the exact same place where I left it and the Wi-Fi just goes off. That doesn't make any sense. Also, when you have Wi-Fi and yet on Instagram, it always says that you don't have any Wi-Fi connection. What's that all about? What does that mean? I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you want to. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below why you didn't so I can know to make my videos better for you guys. All my links are down below if you want to do stuff with them. I don't know. Whatever you want. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Peace.